All right, so new Sonic Frontiers footage just dropped. Apparently, from, I guess this is from the Direct. Either, either the Direct or IGN, I don't know. Uh, it'll probably be in the description of the video, because I will be uploading, uploading this reaction as soon as I finish streaming. Uh, let's see what the new Sonic Frontier stuff. Apparently, it has new combat stuff. Apparently, it has cyberspace stuff. Uh, let's let's take a look. Sonic's latest I'm gonna be pausing a lot. Kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands. Yep, this Home this is the Nintendo Direct. Civilization. Here, you can freely dash through a vast open zone. Oh wait, hold up. Okay, so that was uh, the trick system. Through a vast open zone, taking full advantage of Sonic's speedy skills. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Hey, Perry. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal. Oh, that actually looked different from... That move looked different from what they showed us before. I want to take a look at that. I wish this... I was watching this on YouTube so that I could slow it down. It's actually not a full-on open world. It's uh, closer to Mario Odyssey and Bowser's Fury. Okay, so that attack still looks bad. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Yo, Cyberspace looks sick. Okay, so that's new. That the first thing they did, they uh, I think this is actually maybe. The assets kind of look like, uh... I'm trying to remember the name of the zone. It's killing me. It's not City Escape. It's, uh... Radical Highway? Speed Highway, that's it. Uh, it's using Speed Highway assets, but they've repurposed them in a way that's really cool. Supersonic. Uh, people were really worried that these levels would just be, uh, it's the same from Sonic Generations. No. This actually looks really cool. I'm cool with getting another Green Hill if it's gonna be super stylized like this. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Take on challenges at supersonic speeds and grab keys to progress. Oh, they, they changed the graphic for the uh, Sonic Wind. That looks way better. I want to take a look at that again. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Oop, cutscene. Sonic Frontiers. Okay, so there's the main the villain, Sonic the child looking thing. That looks a lot like Void. from Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> there's no way those leaks avoid being the final boss are real. There's, there's no way. It looks like Void. It looks so much like him. Uh, let, me look at that. let me look at that again. This trailer is great. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Sonic Frontiers. Death Honestly, they should have just showed this. Holiday. They should have showed this first. This is the only thing they should have showed. If I'm, they should have showed this and the IGN hands-on talking about the game, and that should have been the only thing they showed us this month. Oh my God, I'm actually way more interested in the game now. Latest I'm gonna watch it one more time. Kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands, home to one a more time. Civilization. Here, you can freely dash through a vast open zone, taking full advantage of Sonic's speedy skills. Oh, actually, I want to take a look at the environment uh, as we're going through because the game actually, environment-wise, is actually looking better. Kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands. Home to a mysterious civilization. Also, the uh, the environment less looks slapped together because they're hiding the rails better. When you can just see rails off in the distance, just looking ugly and horrible, the environment does not look good. So them cutting down on that for this footage, uh, 
is likely what it's going to look like in the final game, which is a very good idea. Nation. Here. So, like, the world really looks like it's actually designed open. here. I want to take a... Uh... Oh, my God, I hate... I hate Twitter's player. Uh, I want to... Take a... Look, you can see some rails there, but they look like they're actually connected to something. Open zone. Taking full advantage of... Sonic's speedy skills. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Acquire skill. Also, uh, the animation blending looks a bit better. I think they're actually doing animation blending for real, whereas before they weren't. Uh, let me pick, again, because I'm not looking at the this video on YouTube, uh, it is difficult for me to take a look at everything they're doing. You can also enter a special zone called. Uh, that looked weird. I don't think you should be able to view the, those things from up there from that camera angle. You see that at the top left? That looks like it shouldn't be there. <laughs> Game's not final. They'll probably fix that. Special zone called Cyberspace. Take on challenges at supersonic speeds. I'm cool with Cyberspace reusing Green Hill if it looks like this. Okay, so that in the distance looks kind of odd. Uh... Center top left, not top left, uh, center slight to the left, that looks kind of weird. And that to the right looks kind of weird, but at least it's, like, close. I think that's supposed to be close-ish to you. So it's not as, uh, egregious as what we saw in the first preview. I mean, if you want to do that for me, I would... That'd be cool. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Uh, the game will be coming out later this year. If you wanted to gift it to me so that I could, you know, do a full-on review, uh, I would not mind. I, I, I was going to buy it anyway. But if you can do that, and I'll uh, get something else for the channel, I can do that. Sonic uh, I'm excited for this. Onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Yeah, Steam. All right, I'm gonna go chop off the local recording, then we'll get back to Opera Omnia. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please like the video, comment down below, share the video around, and subscribe to the channel because it tells me you like my content and want me to keep making it. It also helps the channel grow. Until next time, later.